So first of all, I would like to say thank you for everyone who made, uh, who made it to this event. It was a rainy day. I'm not going to continue the song. And it is uh, great to see all of you here. Some of the faces here are familiar. Uh, some of them are new people. Uh, so I'd like to welcome you all to our second B2B Talks event. <laughs> OK, so before we start, we want to know a bit more about you guys. So how many of you are selling SaaS products? OK, software as a service. How many of you are selling digital printing solutions? <laughs> <laughs> These are the guys from Cornet Digital. Uh, how many of you are involved in complex sales? Cool. How many of you are selling solutions to developers? OK. So look around you. You probably need to talk with each other. OK. How many of you are selling products to IT departments? OK. And last question. How many of you are selling products to chief marketing officers or marketing departments? Cool. OK. So uh, I want to tell you a bit about B2B Talks as an event. The idea here is very, very simple. Uh, we want to help the community of B2B marketeers selling products abroad. This is very, very important. There are a lot of forums that solve the problems and the needs and answer the needs of local B2B marketeers. But all of you here have one thing in common. You are selling products uh, to non-Israeli markets, uh, which means that you are using, in many cases, digital platforms. It means that most of you guys have the same kind of challenges. And uh, it all started when uh, Farah, Farah, can you please uh, raise your hand? Farah here told me that she wants to do something new and something cool. And uh, one of the ideas that she raised was uh, creating a community event. And here we are. A second event is, uh, uh, is being rolling out. The goal here is to help you guys to know each other, is to help you guys share knowledge. We're just a platform here. We're buying beers. That's basically it. And we have the cool video cameras. Uh, I have here a very distinguished panel um, that includes some of the most uh, uh, advanced marketeers here in the local market. Um, and I would like to start with uh, you guys rep uh, presenting yourself. So. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dori Harpaz. I'm the marketing manager of Incapsula. We're a spoon out of uh, Imperva, a public traded uh, company uh, founded by uh, Shlomo Kramer, the founder of Checkpoint. Um, we're uh, 50 plus employees, uh, have both uh, uh, teams in Israel and in, uh, Sa in San Francisco. And we're selling um, a SaaS solution for website security and performance. Uh, I previously worked at a B2C company called eToro, which is a social platform for trading. Um, and I've been with Encapsula for more than uh, two years. Hi, everyone. My name is Udi Lettergore. I've been the VP Marketing of Panaya um, just short of five years now. Um, prior to that, I was a VP Marketing at two other companies, at iClick and at Sarin Technologies, a publicly traded company in Singapore of all places. Uh, what Panaya does, for those of you who haven't heard, is uh, we help companies running ERP systems like SAP and Oracle uh, be more agile by responding to business needs. We sell to the IT departments in those companies, and we help them automate uh, maintenance and innovation procedures like upgrades and testing of ERP changes. Hello, everyone. I came for the beer. <laughs> My name is Saar Bittner, and I'm the VP Marketing for uh, Sysons. I recently joined there about a month or so. Um, before that, uh, the VP Marketing of Samanage, and before that, six years, I think, in CISAID, and including being, uh, building the marketing and sales department and finishing as the CEO. A um, few words about Sysons, maybe. Um, we develop uh, business analytics, big data analytics, something that uh, bring uh, an end-to-end -end solution to both uh, IT and CMOs. So we have the challenge of uh, differentiate uh, between two di really different two markets. 
Okay, so we call this event how to build a sales and marketing machine. And I have to admit that as soon as I sent it to the guys here, I got more questions than answers uh, because there are a lot of different ideas regarding what is a sales and marketing machine. So how do you guys define a sales and marketing machine? Where do you start? <laughs> okay, so uh, for me, sales and marketing is uh, sales and marketing machine. I assume is um, well-defined processes starting from visitor to win. Um, I think uh, basically defining the steps, making sure who's responsible for what. Um, I discovered this is uh, something that is far from being trivial. Uh, making sure that um, through the process we have um, we have responsibility both in generating and hand off uh, the next step. I think, um, again, for me, that was the biggest challenge, making sure that visitors are turning into leads, turning into MQLs, turning into opportunities, and so forth. Um, and in each steps, we have clear responsibility on who's doing what, and the way that it's being, t you know, moved throughout the process. Okay, uh, I won't start from zero. I'll, I'll add to Sar's uh, definition. I think a couple of the characteristics that um, set Panaya apart from uh, some of the other marketing machines you're going to hear about tonight. First of all, uh, we weren't always as lucky as uh, SciSense to get uh, leads knocking on our door and asking to become customers. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we actually had to go out looking for them. Um, so, but, but I want to make a distinction here because uh, Sal said that he defines a uh, sales and marketing machine from visitor to win. So I want to add one step before visitor, it's actually finding those visitors. And that is, don't assume they're going to come to your website because you build it, but go out and look for them. And we'll probably talk about how to do that a bit later. And I I want to also add one step after the end goal that Sal mentioned of making it a win. I want to create a repeating customer. Okay, uh, Panaya is based on subscription-based annual subscription, um, so we, we do need the customers to come back, and that's part of our machine. One last thing that I would add to the definition that's uh, being built here is assuming that you have a few salespeople that do their own prospecting and go knock on doors, and when they're kicked out, they climb back in through the window. You don't really need a machine for that. You just need some good old salespeople. I assume what most of us here today are talking about are a high transaction volume machine. If you want to process hundreds and thousands of sales per year or per quarter or whatever you're doing, uh, you need a or month or day, <laughs> you, you need a machine for that. You need a machine for that because you want to optimize every link in that value chain. And I think that's part of what we're going to be talking about, how each of our companies optimize their sales machine and marketing machine to support thousands of transactions. Um, no, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they're right. <laughs> um, we all know that marketing requires uh, creativity. But what I've learned is that as a marketing manager, you first have to build an infrastructure of systems that are able to know exactly where the leads came from, what are le they looking for, uh, for, what's the funnel that they should go through, and what are the processes that they need to go through. And if you don't build good infrastructure, which is first of all based on technology, and I hope we'll talk about it a, a bit later, then you can be as creative as you, as you can, but y we need to be able to track almost 100% of the leads we're getting so we can know exactly what to do with them f over the funnel. So I'm always imagining it as if we were engineers drawing a diagram of pipelines over a, a piece of paper saying, this is where the leads can come from. This is the way we can contact them. How can we synchronize everything into one system that is very optimized to get the maximum results from each and every visitor or lead that we get? So for me, the, the, the foundation of building a, a marketing and sales machine is building the foundation of the technical system that you're going to use in order to get the leads and uh, optimize the results. Mm -hmm.